Nice cool breeze. Feels good. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another motor vlog. I'm Awa Cruiser. And today we're going to be talking about the windshield. So as you know, uh, those of you who have ever been to Japan in the summer, or those of you that ride here, it's extremely hot and humid in uh, in the months of uh, June, July, August, and September. Um, so, you know, this type of bike, uh, obviously the windshield uh, protects you from long distance touring, um, you know, from the insects, um, uh, just general over wind fatigue and it's nice it's really effective Honda did a good job of uh, I mean I can't feel any wind on my head uh, it just goes right over and you know cuts off all the wind fatigue in my chest uh, so it's very nice this riding position is standard so you know my chest is pretty much vertical um, but you know, this bike is also pretty much a commuter bike. So a lot of times we're not really going long distances, just cruising to work, cruising around town, you know, not, not going too far. So don't really have to worry about that wind fatigue. But uh, in the summer, you know, the only really way to cool off is the wind. So I often find that this is ex makes me extremely hot. Um, you know, I want to get that nice wind right in my, my chest and my face. Uh, so, what we're going to do today is we're going to remove it and see what it looks like. I'll check it out. Let's see, uh, see what we could mess around with, have some alternatives. Alright, cool. Let's check it out in a bit. Okay, guys, so we're just talking about the windshield earlier, and uh, it's nice. You know, it's very effective. Um, you know, blocks the wind, gives you uh, for performance in you know, long distances. It's great, keeps you uh, from getting exhausted on the road. Okay, but uh, you know, in the summer months, you want some fresh air. So let's go ahead and remove it. All we have to do is take off these four bolts and then let's see what it looks like. All right. Okay, now it's removed. What do you think? I don't know if you want to rock like that. Uh, you have all your components exposed. Uh, I don't know, it looks all right like that, I guess. But it just looks like something's missing, right? Well, obviously something is missing, but... So, uh, let's see, what I had at my house, uh, I had an old uh, American license plate from California. So it seems like it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit all right. The holes, I don't even have to drill the holes. The holes are perfect uh, for the top ones. The bottom ones, they won't fit, but I'll just zip tie them. So let me go ahead and install that and then see what you guys think. Okay guys, it's all installed. So I got my two screws in there, they fit nice and tight. Just these here, so it doesn't flip up, but nice and tight, as if the zip ties. So what do you think? I mean, you know, it's better than, uh, than nothing, but I'm still gonna get the nice cool breeze coming right at my chest. You know, uh, if I do uh, longer tours, I can go ahead and switch my windshield back on. But just for my daily ride to work and commute around town, in the summer, it's nice and cool. So, you know, this or this, okay. So it's pretty unusual. I, you know, depending on what state you're from, you could get these at the, you know, in the junkyard or wherever maybe. Um, I have uh, a few other ones, one from Hawaii, one from Guam, one from Nevada. So I could switch them, switch them up. Um, but yeah, since in my home state, California, the 1975 is old. Uh, but you know, it's pretty, gives that, that nostalgic feel. And it stands out with the blue, with the black bike, right? 
all right so let me know what you think guys is this uh is this cool or not <laughs> anyways i don't really care about that but as long as i'm cool while i'm riding uh that's what matters right okay all right well thanks for watching guys give me a thumbs up let me know if uh if you like this if you like the video uh, leave a comment and uh yeah keep the rubber side down everyone okay thanks for watching peace out bye